welcome back once again to my channel so this is the pattern paper we are going to be using for the front pattern and i've marked out some lines this is the shoulder line and it's also the starting line then i marked my bust point that is the length of your bust point from your shoulder line then the under bust and my waist line so these are the lines we are going to be working with i had to mark this down to save time now the next thing i'll do is to divide my shoulder measurement into two and i'll input it and there i'll add half inch sewing allowance from that point i'll come down by 1.5 inch as my shoulder slope i used 1.5 because i need it to relax well on the shoulder then i'll also mark three inches as the neckline then after i will divide my bust by six and i'll add 1.5 inch to get my ammo length then i'll remeasure all i got from my shoulder measurement and input it on that point so that the ammo length can be straight and well aligned then i'll rule it into the shoulder slope then for the ammo curve the first thing i'll do is to divide my bust by four i will connect it into the ammo length like so then afterwards i will divide my ammo length into two and to get the midpoint then from that midpoint i'll come in by half inch using my straight ruler i'll connect it to the shoulder slope like so and using my curve ruler i'll connect it into that point where i divided my bust into and now we have our ammo curve now i'm going to be dividing my bust pan into two that's my nipple to nipple measurement for the dart and i'm going to connect it like so so now we are going to be drafting our princess bustier and to do that you are going to be using the bust allocation method which is your bo round bust minus your round under bust so whatever you get from your round bust you will impute it my round bust is 42 impute your own and my round under bust is 34 when i subtract it it will give me 8 inch 8 inch divided by 2 will give me 4 inches so that is what i'm going, I'm going to be using for my under bust that intake i will share a larger part to this side and the smaller part to my center front so i gave one inch to the center front and three inches to the side front and i will connect it into the waistline and the under bust like so then on the bust point i'll come down by one inch so that your bust will not be too pointy so i'll come down by one inch using my curve ruler i'll connect it like so please arrange your curve ruler very well this also matters when you are trying to draft a bustier then this part the curve should not be too sharp it should be slightly sharp then i will blend in any sharp points so for my ammo process that i'll be making points of two two inches interval from the shoulder slope one thing about princess that you can make use of any point on the armhole area you can come down from your shoulder slope by two inches or you should say you should come down by four inches and so on but i'm coming down by two inches Using my straight ruler, I will connect it straight into my boss point like so. And I will use my curve ruler to blend it. Then for the dart, I will be coming down from that point by 2 inches. And using my straight ruler again, I will connect it straight into my boss point. You will be wondering why I am using straight ruler. This way it has helped us to eliminate any bulge. Like if you notice that sometimes that after you have taken your princess dart, there is still a little bulge around the bustier area. But when you make it straight like this, it will help you to relax well. So this method is an updated method. Now I'll try to align the arm O. This way I'll be able to avoid any shortage that might have been caused by this second side of the bustier. So I'll connect it like so after I've blended it and aligned it. Now I'll create my new arm O like so. And our princess bustier is ready. I'll divide my round boss by four and impute it. I'll divide my round waist by four so and impute it. Then this dart intake, this bustier under bust dart intake, I'll return it to avoid shortage. Then I'll try to connect everything together. You, if your lines is looking like so, you can use your curve ruler to blend everything back. So this way it will be looking well aligned. For the bust dart intake, I'll be marking two inches. And from the boss point, I'll come in by one inch. You can mark this straight into your boss point, but I don't want it to be too sharp on the bust area. So now I'm trying to alight the unwanted part that we are going to be cutting off, and I will set this aside. Now let's cut the back pattern. So this is my pattern paper for the back pattern, and I've ruled some lines which I'm going to be explaining. This is my shoulder line, which is the starting line. Then this line on the side is my zipper allowance and i made use of 1.5 inches 
I have measured my waistline and I have a comprehensive video on how to take body measurement properly. Our back measurement is different from our front half length. So this is it. I'll be explaining how I got the chest line later. Now I will divide my shoulder measurement by two and I will add my half inch sewing allowance to it. On the shoulder point, I will come down by one inch for my shoulder slope. For the neckline, I'll also be using three inches and I will connect this straight into the neck point. For my ammo, I will divide my bust by six and I will add 1.5 inches to it and I will mark it. So that point where the ammo length stops at is our chest line. That was how I was able to get the chest line. To get an accurate ammo length, I will remeasure all I got from the shoulder measurement and I will mark it on that point, the chest line, and I will connect it straight into my shoulder slope. For my ammo curve, I will divide my bust by four. I will connect it into the chest line and using my curve ruler, I will just curve it straight into the ammo length and here we have our ammo curve. The next thing for me to do is to contour my back zipper and I will be making use of one inch as my contouring. So on that half length, I will just take one inch and connect it as far as my ruler can go. Then now I will remark my zipper allowance. So I will be remarking that 1.5 inch that is my zipper allowance. This way it will help you to eliminate all those bulge that is always on the zipper area at the back. So now we have a new zipper allowance. So from that new point, I'm going to be taking a dart of 4 inches. So whatever your nipple to nipple measurement is, you take it from that new point. But to rule the line, you have to still remeasure everything from that former line, from that former starting line. This way, you'll be able to get a straight dart line because our back zipper has reshaped the back already. Now for my dart intake, I'm going to be taking a dart of 1.5 inch. I'll share it on both sides and I'll connect it into my chest line. So for the back, your dart has to be as long as into your chest line. So for the princess dart, I'm going to be coming down from my shoulder slope with 2 inches. And using my slightly curved part of my curve ruler, I'm going to be ruling it straight into my dart line. So we don't have much to do and for the back princess dart. This is all we just need to do. Now I will divide my bust by 4 and from this new zipper line I will impute it. I will divide my waist by 4, I will impute it and I will return the dart allowance. Sorry that, that part couldn't show. And now I'm going to be connecting it and using my ruler I will connect it straight into the bust area. Use half inch so that it can slope well. Using my curve ruler I will slant it well. And now I'm going to be cutting every other part. So now I'm going to be cutting every other pattern. But before I do it, I will first close my boss dart. And to close your boss dart, you have to open your waist dart. So now I'm closing my boss dart like so. And I'll use my cello tape to secure it. So any lines that you feel are shifted, all you just need to do is to use your straight ruler to blend this back into the bust area. Then afterwards, I am going to be cutting every other part of the pattern. Please watch closely the way I'm going to be cutting it. If you have any question, do not hesitate to ask in the comment section. I will surely answer you. And also do not forget to like, subscribe to my channel, comment and share also to other fashion people so they can learn something new. We are also going to cut our back pattern. I'm going to be cutting out the princess that. I hope you learned something new. See you in my next video. Bye.